crew, what's up? This your boy, Big B Productions 100. I got a cool video for you guys today. Uh, a friend of mine called me last night and uh, told me that uh, he believed he have a virus on his computer or whatever. Now, I told him uh, that don't necessarily mean you got a virus. Uh, if your computer's running kind of slow or sluggish or something like that, it could just be from your trash can or, you know, uh, to defrag, do all that stuff. Put everything back in order, you know, make sure everything running real good or whatever before you just assume it's a virus. So he freaking all out. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and play the video here for you guys. I'm, I'm gonna say this is the video that shows you the viruses that infect your computer hard drives and just destroy everything that you work for, you built up. So I'm gonna say this right here, the little blue thing right here, this, this, this is the hard drive. And these are the viruses that's trying to attack it. So I'll let the video play while you guys listen to my voice here. Um, I'm gonna say, uh, first and foremost, uh, most obvious way to protect yourself is to just always use a virus scanner so there are many virus scanners out there some cost money some that's free so uh i mean it's a lot of other things you can do as well to reduce the chances of you getting a virus avoid using file sharing programs especially the ones that supply illegal music and software so always remember i mean uh it's some shady people out there and they could just easily attach uh, a, a bogus package together for you whatever you want to say with a virus that's in it or some other type of harmful software with the free game you just download it or a movie or music or whatever avoid shady websites uh ones that promote illegal software such as movie sites and uh music sites uh you know what i'm saying just remember that you know what i'm saying and always remember that the the advertisement uh methods that are not as quite as moral as others you know what i'm saying uh you may be getting a free software or a movie for instance, you know what I'm saying, from the site or whatever, but you could also be getting a virus at the same time and don't even know it. So um, that's another thing. Another thing is he told me like to let his kids play games all the time. Now that's cool. I said you got Windows or whatever, uh, go out and buy the game. I don't. I, I'm, I'm not really too cool with the whole thing of going online playing games and all that. Now I'm pretty sure it's a lot of good legit sites out there. I, I don't know about it. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I don't let my kid do that. I have a Mac, so I just tend to just download them out of the App Store. Well, either I go to the app store and purchase a game or something and let my kid play it. Uh, I had Windows, but when I had Windows, I was just buying the games. You know, so I go to Best Buy, whatever, buy the game. I didn't really do the online game. You know, I don't, I don't do that. You know, what I'm saying as far as going to websites and stuff like that. You know, what I'm saying Call of Duty and stuff like that. That's cool. But like I say, I would just, I would just go out and buy it. So uh, with that being said, I'm gonna say, uh, don't let your children use your computer under ten. Uh, I know it sounds kind of like a pain in the butt. You know, what I'm saying, but I mean, hey. Children are more likely to just click the yes button, you know what I'm saying, a bunch of times when they're promoted by a window, you know what I'm saying, to, to do something. And we'll say oftentimes uh, the prompts that are asking them to install malicious software. So we're going to say uh, children tend to just, you know what I'm saying, be in a rush and get to play that game or just hurry up and get to the website, you know what I'm saying. They have the tendency to ignore the prompts. So pay attention to that. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to when your kids is on your computer and they're playing these games. Uh, that can just reduce the risk of your child infecting your computer right there. So he told me that uh, he think it was his girlfriend or his kids that did it. It could have just been you. By me saying that, I was like, you know, uh, for instance, with emails. Don't open emails from people that you don't know or if you haven't heard from them in a while. Uh, now, a virus, they, they, they got some virus scanners out there that will allow you to scan the email prior to opening it. So... I would say, you know what I'm saying, run run the email scanner that you have every time and just take a little peek inside of it if you can, you know what I'm saying, just before you open up that email, you know what I'm saying, because it's, it's people out here that's not as computer savvy as others, I'll put it like that, so just, you know what I'm saying, pay attention to that. Uh, another thing, if you haven't heard from that person in a while or you haven't talked to that person in a while, every I, I would say every once in a while, I would get a message from somebody I haven't spoke to in a while or whatever saying uh they claim to be sending me some type of file and they want me to take a look at it now generally i would say people you haven't spoke to in ages just don't have a reason to send you a file they could either be infected uh with a virus or just trying to send you some same virus that somebody else has taken over they account, you know what I'm saying? Somebody probably took over their account and now they're trying to send you some junk or whatever in the file. So, hey, don't open up an email from somebody if you haven't spoke to that person in like 
like six, seven months or so. I'll call a person up on the phone if I got their number, you know, and ask them, what's this you sending me or whatever. So, I mean, hey, that's just me, though. Uh, I'm going to say um, those are like the top things that I just wanted to talk about that you can do. Uh, that you can just basically protect yourself from, from, from getting a virus. So, try to follow those few little steps. You should be all right, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, in the past, I've had viruses uh, on my Windows PC laptop that I've had. I was running a uh, Windows Vista, and I've heard from everybody that had that, like, hey, man, you, you should upgrade to Windows 7. But by the end, I just switched over to Mac or whatever, and I was like, okay, cool. I like Mac, so uh, I think Mac is pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, hey, man, like I said, just uh, follow those steps, and I mean, hey, you should be all right. Hopefully, my buddy check out this video. I'm going to be sure to give him a call because I'm about to post it right now and you guys hear me talking so obviously it's up online already so follow those steps uh get your virus scanner uh stay away from the porn don't go to the porn sites i know some of you guys out there like the midget porn and, and uh the, the fetishes and all the horse and all that stuff the horse crap but leave that crap alone you know what i'm saying you know you're gonna download your music that's cool uh get your virus scanner if you're gonna do that you know what i'm saying or just go out and buy it you know what i'm saying so uh please rate and comment you know what I'm saying? Subscribe at the end of this video if you like it or whatever. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. Uh, comment, uh, rate it. Hey, I appreciate it. I need it. So, uh, it's your boy, Big B Productions 100. I hope you guys out there enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm going to be sure to bring you some more videos coming soon, later on this week, and everything else. So, that's cool. Uh, hey, thank you guys for watching.